Welcome to Learning with Boys. My name is Rachel, and today I'm excited to share this very hands-on physical science with you from Exploration Education. It is new to our family, and I am going to share the unboxing with you. Of course, we have used the curriculum for several weeks now, but I did video it when we got it so I could share it with you. And I'm also going to show you some of him working on it, um, some footage of that and some of the experiments and the first thing that he has built so far. And then I'm going to talk more about the curriculum and give you another look at it. I do want to let you know that we are on our 17th year of homeschooling. This is my last son. I have four boys. I have graduated two in this school year. I have a seventh grader and another senior. So this is for my seventh grader. It is a curriculum that I've had my eyes on for years, so I'm very excited that he has the opportunity to use it. I think it is a good fit for him. I'm not gonna give a complete 100% review. I just wanna give you an overall view of it and a few thoughts of how we feel about it so far. I will tell you it is a three day a week program, which is perfect for him. It is for 36 weeks, so it is a full school year. The lessons themselves could take up to 20 minutes, and if you're doing an experiment, it could take up to 40 minutes. And with a project, and which I will show you, when you're building one of those, it could take a little bit longer. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the unboxing and see what's in this curriculum. Okay, this is a curriculum, Exploration Education, and it is a physical science curriculum. Now this is more for the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, but this is the curriculum that is in my son's seventh grade guide. If you're interested, I will link my seventh graders picks for this coming school year. And I might talk about that a little bit because this is an online program. I am gonna show you what's in the box and I will probably talk about this curriculum. Once we have done it for some time, I can give you a review. So now it is all, they do have a teacher's manual. There's a student book down here, but it's a hands-on curriculum. You follow the directions on the computer. They actually, of course, will talk about the different physical science that you're learning. And then you have something to build, add on to, and things like that. So lots of different I know they build like an electronic car. There's some things about electricity. So it definitely was not, I will tell you, it was not as big as I thought, but the reviews have been great. So I think my son, who just needs a real good introduction of understanding, not just building things, but actually understanding it, that this will be helpful. So this is a solar fan, so that looks like that should be good. So this is, um, I have it upside down, the stu standard physical science. This is the student logbook, and that's another thing. It will help you, um, teaches you how to do a logbook. So just give me a little breeze through that. So that is all, well, let's see. This is, I think this might be some stickers that will go on what you're building over here. So I just wanted to give you a little peek at that. Okay, for each lesson, he'll just get on the computer and find which one it is. He'll click it on and there will be some reading. He spends a little bit of time reading and then they always have some questions that he can answer on the computer, which will tell him then and there whether he is correct. And then he, go, he goes ahead and fills it in his book, the right answer. And then he gets back on the computer and they go over an experiment. It will start off by having him do a hypothesis for the experiment, and then he will also write his conclusion at the end. So far, he has built this car and has done experiments. It didn't even tell us to do it this way. I wonder if it wants it in low poly or high poly ratio. Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick look at everything. 
um, we have the logbook. This is the teacher's manual, which is pretty much just the answers, which I've referred to a couple of times, and it, they're very clear, so that's helpful. And this is the student logbook. They have the lessons in here that are on the computer, the same questions, except um, they do have like a hypothesis and then your experiment to write it out and things like that. I just wanted to give you a look at the different chapters. You can look at samples of all this online, so I'll link the site below. But section one is force and motion, forces and motion, machines and energy, electricity, magnetism, chemistry and matter, mixture and compounds, sound and light. So and then getting started and then it jumps in to the first chapters which go together, forces and motion, which will be chapters one through five. And these are the vocabulary words you'll be learning through those chapters. So. Um, in the back is like he actually had to cut out one of these for his measurements that he is working on if you don't have a ruler with that. I feel like they have some other they have terms and definitions, some other things just in case you need the tools there. So that's nice. And I did show this on the unboxing and part of it was cut out for the car if you can see underneath all this, which gave him a clear place to glue everything. So you do need a hot glue gun. That's how that's put together. Um, I'm not sure about everything else, but I was going to show you the other um, things that he'll build later. Um, a rocket, a solar fan, an electric circuit, a balanced scale, and a Uno guitar. So wanted to share that with you. So those will be built um, in each of those chapters that I showed you. Okay, as you can see, the first thing that he built was a motorized car, which he used in a lot of the experiments. But they do have some other experiments that they use household items. And they do have a list on their site that you can print off what that is. I know for us, one thing that every family might not have is a glue gun and we did have a glue gun so and that was definitely something you need to put this card together okay a program like this they have the hands-on and then they have the computer work where they're reading they do have some short videos to give you a better idea of either how something is put together or how the experiment should project. I feel like everything has been very clear. I feel like this is a curriculum that he definitely could do on his own. Now, usually he's working on everything and I am down here. So I did help him a tad bit with the hot glue gun, <laughs> putting the car together. But in the end, really, he could have done it himself. One thing that impressed me a little bit and that just happened um, a few days back is that he had to take a quiz. He was finishing up the first five chapters and there was a vocab quiz and I thought he was already in the progress of taking the quiz, which is not timed or anything, but I thought, oh, we should have reviewed these, but I was actually quite impressed on how much he just remembered on his own. I think it was all except for maybe a couple he was unsure of. Do you think he's taking the hands-on projects and relating them to the terms? So as he's thinking about it, he is probably remembering the project that went with the term. So I feel like the hands-on, which demonstrates the different principles of physical science, seems to be making it much easier for him to remember things. So I feel like that's a good thing. There is some math, which if you've watched any of my videos, that is a little bit of a struggle for him. But I feel like the way they explain it, this is the standard physical science. They do offer one for lower elementary and they offer one for high school. But the age for this particular one is, I think, fourth through sixth. So he is on the higher end of the age for that. Obviously, he's in seventh and he's 12. So that might have a little bit to do with that. But I was not wanting to commit to the seventh through 10th because I didn't want it to be so advanced that he wasn't going to be able to grasp those terms. And I know there was more projects it um, I think is four or five days a week, I can't remember. So I didn't wanna commit our time to that here in seventh grade quite yet. So this is just a great introduction for him. He hasn't really taken a physical science and learned all these terms yet. So for the math, it was like doing some 
math for velocity and speed. And then also he's doing some measurements now, which is really all somewhat of a review for him, but that's needed for him. So I know some kids may not learn best this way. They may just work better with a textbook, but for him, this has been perfect. I know also some kids may get so involved in the project that they could miss the essential facts involved in the experiments. So just have to be a little observant to that. That's why I think for his age, this is really perfect because I think he's ready for all of that. We are still at the very beginning, like I said, so I just wanted to give you just a short little look at it and just our initial thoughts on this program. So let me know if you've used this, if you have any questions, I will link their website below. I did reach out to them with some questions before I ordered. I actually have seen them at a homeschool convention a couple years ago. So when I seen that, that reminded me, oh, I wanna try this curriculum. So I waited because I just felt like he wasn't quite ready for it yet, but we are excited. I will share more in our updates throughout the school year, and I will share probably a final review of this program at the end of the school year. So if you do like homeschool content, I would love for you to join us by subscribing. And if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That would encourage me. All right, I do hope you all have a wonderful week and we will talk to you again soon.